Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome to One of Each, the Dumb and Hungry podcast, where we talk about our food adventures and our favorite food groups. I'm Angelo, the Dumb and Hungry. And I'm Macho. And thank you for joining us. Hope you're doing all right. My Chow, how are you today? You know, I'm a lot better than the last time we had a, any conversation. Really? Do tell. I got my taste buds back. Really? Finally. Oh my gosh. Yes. This is so happy. miraculous. Congratulations. It really is. Yes. Oh my God. Welcome back to all your taste buds. And, yes, and honestly, your you. sense of living and, uh, and purpose. <laughs> Yes, purpose is yeah, without my taste buds, I have none, apparently. <laughs> I don't think so, because if you if you lose a major sense, uh, especially like taste or smell, oh man. Really, what is living? You know? I'm sorry for everybody who has <laughs> lost a major sense permanently. Apparently, what's the point? Well, um point is glad you're back <laughs> in action. <laughs> Yes, I am too. I think I'm just, I'm sorry. I think I'm just applying the situation to, to the two of us here. To us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, this, yeah. this small circle. So, but sure, that that's great. I mean, how, how long do you think then? How long do you uh, think that's been then since uh, you didn't have, you didn't have that? I think it was, then came back. It was like two weeks. About two weeks, huh? Okay. Yeah, about two, two and a half. Still got anything but... lingering? I still have a little cough every once in a while, but like nothing major. Hmm. Okay. Uh, but we'll see. Who knows? That's all that I know of. It could be more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, really glad. Uh, glad you're doing better. Now, you and me both. I suppose, you know, you could use that uh, to celebrate. And um, I don't know. What have you done to, <laughs> <laughs> to re-engage oh, yourself man. back in society? Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> First of all, I am so. It came back on Wednesday, uh, and then a couple of days later, I had a. I went to a Disney Disney wedding. A Disney so, wedding. Yeah, like they had the ceremony at the. It was all in, in the different hotels here at Disneyland. Mm -hmm. um, they had the ceremony at the Rose Tea Garden, in the at the Disneyland hotel, and mm -hmm. then the reception, the cocktail hour and reception were in the Grand California Hotel. Interesting. So, but. And I assume these were for people you knew. <laughs> no. no, no, these are like Never randos. Before in my life. I was the plus one. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, Oli's coworker. Not not completely uh, unknown people. Yeah, and then just crash a wedding. No, yeah. <laughs> imagine. Oh man, but okay. What what did they? Uh, what what is that like? You know, as far did they got uh, the Disney characters over there? Do they? Um... Um, you know, it wasn't as Disney as I was expecting, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like during the ceremony, they were doing a couple of Disney songs with a um a string quartet. Mm -hmm. nice. It was a trio. Really? They got they got saying. they got like a string ensemble playing yeah. this? Wow. Yeah, so there was that. Um so for all the music oh, for the the actual ceremony itself. Mm -hmm. Um and then nothing really too Disney about the cocktail hour mm -hmm. while they were setting up the reception. Yeah. Um but then at the reception during the, the it was disney songs the host mc whatever he was doing what he said a lot of disney quotes um and then later in the evening pluto came in yep. okay uh, yeah so you could take pictures of pluto nice they didn't just throw in a random doggo in there no no no. there's a guy in a pluto <laughs> suit <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah just pluto or you know i guess the other characters might yeah. cost extra or something yeah i think that's what it was hmm. Um, yeah, just Pluto. And then they had a, they had a magic mirror kind of uh, photo booth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. How interesting. And food-wise, there wasn't too much Disney. Uh, like the dessert, one only one dessert had a Mickey thing on it. Uh, but a, a couple hours after, they did a uh, a churro bar. Like... After Ooh. dinner was served and yeah. it was already like the open floor and mm -hmm, stuff, mm -hmm. it was a churro bar, three churro different churros bar. that you could get. Yeah. Oh wow! Sign me up. That um, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I will say though, the bride um, did a thing where they made custom ears for everybody. Oh, that's um, nice. like they had a black a set of black ears and they embroidered 
guest name and then mm-hmm. on the mm-hmm. back was their wedding yeah like a uh, katie and matthew's wedding and they had an enamel pin on it of a picture of them oh wow yeah so that was really cool very but very that wasn't cool. disney that was them yeah i see that's something they they provide on their own yeah but it's still disney disney themed. Themed. yeah oh that's yeah. cool so that was really cool nice so you took that you got to take that home with you or something or yeah yeah what? everyone I don't know if we were supposed to. Like, I don't know if we were required, <laughs> but we were all wearing it during the entire night. So, okay. And what's the name? What's the name of the the couple? Katie and Matthew. I see. Well, um, congratulations. Hope you have a nice, uh, nice life together, <laughs> filled with uh, yeah. Disney. So, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Well, good. I, it's on their bucket list to go to all the Disney's. Oh no, kidding! I okay. respect it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that'll be quite. Uh, that'll keep him busy. I'm pretty good. Yeah. Um. So, with that aside, I mean, so that was a pretty good way to to get you back into um into the the mix of things with your taste buds, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I went on a whole tour this past weekend. Oh, okay. I don't know about a whole tour, but I I did a decent amount. Well, tell me more then. What what else did you get to do? Uh, I did Saturday. I went to. Little Sol Alhambra, that's what it was called. Um, we've been there, you know. It's our one of our old. When you used to live in the area, we used to go there maybe once. There was at least one month we went every weekend. <laughs> this was a uh, Korean barbecue, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Korean barbecue. And called again what? Road to Seoul. Road to Seoul. Yes. It was that under they another have... name or just under a new ownership? I think it's just under new ownership because mm-hmm. I always remember it being called Road to Seoul. All right. Well, how was it? It was, it was pretty good, the same as I remember. There are less options for the salad bar, whatever you, the sidebar, if you will. Yeah, let's call it a sidebar because uh, salad is just too limiting. Yeah, oh, definitely. Probably a little disappointing, had... actually, but okay. <laughs> yeah, they still had gyoza, they still had uh, kimchi, potato salad, all the right. corn. Yeah. Oh, corn. That was yeah. great. Yeah, they had corn. Nice. It was good. And, uh, you know, I went with a group of people who aren't our regular our regular group of people to go to Korean barbecue with. So, so what does that as, mean? What are you trying to say? We did not eat nearly as much as we normally do. <laughs> as you and I and our group as, do. <laughs> as much as you have would wanted to, let's put it that way. You yes, felt a little restrained, true. I imagine. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. And, Every time we go to Korean barbecue with that and it's not just us, I do. You gotta feel you gotta um be on good behavior, I guess. You can't yeah, come off or and, train them better. <laughs> Slowly, slowly but it. surely, you know, maybe you just kind of throw in there, like just maybe one more order, one more plate, well, a few more pieces of brisket. What, what, what harm would that do? You know, <laughs> exactly. On the other hand, we did also go to Seven Leaves because it's on the same block, and then mm-hmm. afters as well. Oh, afters after. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. So that's um, that's Road to Soul in Alhambra. That was on what um, uh, Maine, Maine and Garfield, right? Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Excellent. By that theater. The Edwards Theater. Yes. Uh, great. And uh, across the street from Grilla Mall. Ah, uh, yes. If you remember uh, Grilla Mall. Listen to one, one of our past episodes. episodes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hear a lot more about that, but excellent. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, good. That That's also a good way to, um, yep. to get. To and. Get. Mm-hmm. Speaking of past episodes, we didn't do a full episode on them, but you mm-hmm. did mention them last time, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, LeCoupe having the brick and mortar. Excellent. Yes. Uh, I went to that today, actually. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh-huh. And because um, it's it's quite near where you are, which is excellent. Yeah. I, uh, Ten I, minute drive. I am jealous. Seven minute drive at most. So yeah, it's delicious. I've never had it before. It was my first time. Mm-hmm. And I am very, very impressed. You're impressed. Did you feel like we were like lying to you? Like we didn't know what we we're talking about? Like. You know, did we like, do you think no. we hyped it up for you? And then, yes, oh, yes, what? overhype is a thing, it, it I get is it. a thing that happens, yeah, and sure. it's always something I'm worried about. So, I always have low expectations, mm-hmm. but, uh, but in this case, low expectations were blown out of the water. It was so good. My god, all right, well, tell us what that, you, tell us what was on the menu. That hot honey oil chicken thing, mm-hmm. so good. It was such a, it was a good fry, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so that was really good. And the rib, those rib fingers. Oh, the a Louisiana uh, take on elote, cor- or not rib corn, fingers, sorry. Corn, the corn ribs. ribs. Uh huh. Yeah, corn ribs. That's right. Yeah. Louisiana take on elote. I'm in. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, that's one. That's one way to look at it. That's interesting. Yeah. 
um it's a, it's an easy way to eat corn right um yeah without having to like chew around the cob or whatever <laughs> the whole, <you> know? yeah yeah <laughs> that's true and i am a fan of corn in all ways it can be yeah uh, exactly presented oh i love corn corn is great we should get that kid on yeah. here uh talk about corn wow okay we'll uh sidebar on that anyway um glad you got to try <laughs> that uh and let me miss this okay boomer so uh let's Damn. <laughs> you are older than i am sir only slightly but all right um I'm, I'm glad you got to try it it is an excellent spot uh again that's that's lake coop they uh that's on uh melrose and and western you know there yeah. in that area it's a really small store it is a small store fine. actually are, are there any seats or is it just really a storefront yeah they'd have tables really? uh maybe like four like uh square tables okay all right, so not I bad. mean, it's it's possible. It's not impossible to to grab a spot on a, in a pinch, but yeah, definitely not. And they have a, a, a one wall is all brick if you're into that, because I know mm -hmm. Oli is. Oh, really? She's very kind of that, very into that. Yeah, what that aesthetic? Yeah. Now, I wonder if it's the original brick of the building or if it's just a facade. That's a good question. You know, I didn't knock on it to try to check. No, as long as she was impressed, I mean, that's fine. That sounds good to me. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to stop by there. But glad you got to try it, and glad um, I'm glad it met your expectations. Yeah, I'm gonna be going there for lunch a lot more <laughs> often. <laughs> it's not too far away at all. Excellent. Yeah. Um, yeah. We want to. Uh, speaking of that, that previous episode, you know, we had a really good time uh, last week with with our friend Jammers. So, um, yeah. you know, if you haven't checked it out, it's uh, we kind of get her take on some of the things that she's. Uh, that that she's uh, she likes to eat and uh, is thinking about, and uh, hopefully we get her back on um, for more of these kinds of things. So, uh, Jammers, thanks again, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll do this again. So, cool. Well, it sounds like you had a pretty you know eventful uh, week, tasty week pass. Oh so yeah, that's, that's awesome. Great. Yeah, I How about uh, you? yeah I uh, had my share um, again eating for a small village. You know, but <laughs> yes, yes, um, as we do, but but well worth it uh, this weekend, this past weekend. Uh, we also talked previously about um, a heavy handed uh, brick and mortar uh, opening yeah. um, in Santa Monica. And so that's where I headed to. Uh, it was on a, you know, on a Saturday and there was an event going on that same day. So they closed off part of the, the street there oh, while, damn. um, while while you know but there was still a huge turnout they closed down the street for an event so i mean like there's a lot of people just you know bound to be foot traffic through. but i i think with yeah. or without it there still would have been a great turnout um there's a line you know wrapped around uh the building and um you know i did my share of waiting it's been a while i think since i've kind of done that exercise but uh, <laughs> that was that was quite uh that was quite well worth it it wasn't that bad though. I mean, it's qu pretty quick turnaround, you know, from start to to finish getting your your order. It's a very okay. simple, you know. They keep the menu. Everything's pretty much exactly the same as you remember it from their days at the truck, or even okay. uh, as a as a pop up. Um, just simple burgers, you know, single, double, triple, you know, and whether you want it as a combo or not. And but now you have a nice addition of. Of soft serve in there, so nice. Oh, nice! You know, nice creamy dessert to finish off your and um, the burger. I see. <laughs> yeah. Um, to and then uh, they also serve drinks, so they got they got beers and stuff. And um, oh, okay, yeah. Nice. So it's it's really nice. You know, the seating's all kind of outdoors, but it's a nice kind of front patio area. And then they also you know take over some of the sidewalk, kind of that al fresco type dining. So. You got a lot of good seats um, along the sidewalk as well, so okay. um, it's a great it's a great setup, and I'm really happy for him. So nice, to Danny and and uh, Max. Yeah, congratulations, guys. Uh, they they mentioned that you know, of course they it takes time to find a spot you know that that you want, and they definitely had a certain type of uh, location you know that they had in mind, and when they found it, you know, they told me like they. Managed to turn it around in like literally a couple months, you know, which is like no time at all. You know, it's yeah. it's insane. And so I imagine they just, you know, spent every waking moment, um, 
probably like slept there or something. I don't know, <laughs> you know, but uh, it, it turned out really nice. It's really bright, uh, vibrant. It's a great addition, you know, to that, uh, that, that area right there. Um, so I'm glad, and I'm glad I found a spot, you know, to park and like, um, kind of get there, but yeah, that area is a little rough. It, for... it can be. Yeah. Especially with that, um, that event going on closer. on Saturday. Yeah. yeah. So I had to find myself you somewhere. Know what it was? Um, it was just kind of a, it's like a street fair, you know, kind of thing, oh, okay. a community event. So mm-hmm. a lot of vendors and things like that. Um, but yeah, so I found myself up like somewhere in the hills or something, you know. And then, oh damn! Yeah. <laughs> but hey, I'll I'll take it. So anyway, again, congrats, guys! It was uh, it was just as, as good a, a burger as it as it was. It's um, what was it? It's just, it's a short rib burger. You know, it's a smash burger. You got a nice. Mm-hmm. They got their sauce on there, and they got like deep caramelized on- onions in there, so it's nice and sweet too. Glorious! So it's a good burger. Um, afterwards, uh, we, uh, Same day? yeah, exactly. Right. After. There's, there's only, there's only, it's only one way to do it, man. Bang, bang. Yep. Well, it wouldn't really be, unfortunately there, you got to allow for travel time. So yeah. 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 So I headed, so That's that was out in Santa Monica. So I headed, um, out East to Pasadena where, Damn. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You definitely travel time there. Yep. Where I hit up a uh, black cat barbecue. So uh, another another fine example of uh, a barbecue in in LA that's uh, run by Mr. Uh, Phil Martin there. So he's act- it's interesting. He's usually over at um, on the west side, like in Beverly Hills and Century City. Mm. But um, I guess he had a contact or something that uh, got him over to uh, this uh, brewery in um, in Pasadena. So that's where he was. And so while I was there, I thought, uh, while I was in that area, I thought I'd ask Jammers to, uh, to come along, see if she was interested. So um, she and, uh, and Dave came along, and we had a, we had a nice meal together. Uh, we we nice. kind of strategized, like, what we were going to order, you know, how what, what we were going to order as a plate versus a la carte and kind of add things on. But I think we had a pretty good spread. You know, we had things like, you know, the brisket and ribs and turkey um smoked chicken uh, and then mac and collard greens you know we were we were originally gonna just order a couple of ribs like a la carte and then mm-hmm. um and then phil kind of asked you know what i you know we could uh you could do two for ten or you could do three for nine i'm like oh okay well obviously we're gonna do three for nine so thank yeah you. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for looking out phil um, two birds though huh yeah, a lot of vegetables that Surprising. day. Surprising. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, you know, um, you know, we have our, our, we've had our share of good turkey, um, yeah. and uh, this was uh, no exception. So this was a nice, oh, yeah, yeah, nice selection uh, that we had. And then we played some, you know, they brought some board games, and we played played there too. Um, oh, nice! Did you play? What did we play? Um, Dave had a, a pretty cool, like, kind of Marvel uh, themed game that. Um, Kind of similar to uh, King of Tokyo, if you remember that game. Yes. Um, so, for those who don't, just uh, Google it because I can't explain. It. You know me; I am terrible at explaining this type of things. But, um, but it's uh, it's a Marvel themed game. But I hope you enjoy that. If if I find the name, oh yes, uh, is it Thanos Rising? Um, I'll ask Dave or Jamie. That's fine. Anyway, you played it. I know, and I I enjoyed it, but that don't mean I'm remembering. <laughs> oh God! All right, fine. We focus on the food. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. So, um, that was pretty good. And then on um, on Sunday, right after? No, not oh. quite right <laughs> after. We did give some time, some space in between. You know, just kind of okay. kind of let the food make its way around. Um, but uh, the next day we met up with uh, some other friends. At this um, at this space called uh, Al Noor in uh, in Longdale, it's in South Bay. It's an Indian and Pakistani uh, restaurant. It's a it's a really solid spot. Um, they got you know kind of the um, you know typical Indian dishes like you know tikka masala, you know tandoori, things like that. But, but I think we mixed it up a little bit. We we got dishes that were not as maybe not as typical 
you know, oh, okay. I mean, we we got things like, um, you know, like goat and and lamb and, mm. um, you know, other other kinds of meats that we wouldn't uh, maybe typically choose right away. Um, That's pretty traditional, though. No, but I mean, like as far as I think what, I think what we would order, you know, really? um, typically, yeah. Again, like I said, you'd probably order yeah. like a chicken tikka masala and be done with it, you know. Mm. But. Yeah. Um, but these dishes, uh, you know, they were quite, they were quite good. Um, I think we were a little ambitious in our ordering. Um, uh, As for use, because I think uh, one With of you, the, yeah. <laughs> well, it wasn't me for once. Um, what? Yeah, our our friend uh, Ron, he uh, he had a had a long day, and uh, he was uh, he 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 was um, I don't know. He had a long day, and uh, he was hungry. Let's put it that way. And so we want to order okay. a lot of different things. And so we, uh, you know, I, I obliged. I was like, yeah, I'm all for it. And then, um, but uh, we, we definitely ended up with leftovers. So, <laughs> but yeah, it was these, um, uh, it was Ron and, and our other friend, CEO, CEO Mara and uh, her husband, Diego. So um, we had a nice, had a nice dinner together and uh, we enjoyed ourselves so much that we stayed, overstayed our welcome and they kicked us out. So. <laughs> damn well um so anyway but uh well like did you go during closing time or was it just busy um i, I think it was close to maybe like a couple hours before closing yeah so it gives you an idea <laughs> of like how long we stayed yeah i see okay i mean we spent a lot of good time like talking and stuff but of course um but also good good enough time eating so uh al noor is that spot so um Good, good spot. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of more food, um, but we want to thank everyone again for joining us once again. It's it's amazing, really. Um, last uh, the apps that episode with Jamie that marked uh, marked ten episodes um, since uh, kind of started. So I, I feel like that's a pretty significant number for us, um, <laughs> considering that we uh, thought that we would not go past zero. So. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'll just the pilot and be done with it. I think so. But um, I guess we'll stick around a little bit. And we thank you for, for sticking around as well. So, yeah, we, we uh, continue to talk about a lot of our food adventures and, you know, some of the local spots and the pop-ups and everything that we've uh, come along the way with uh, good food and, and good people as well. So um, this week, actually, yeah, this week we'll be, uh, I guess we'll be changing up a little bit because we... We're talking about uh, barbecue for the last uh, several weeks, which is no problem. Yeah. I could continue talking more. We will continue talking more because there <laughs> are definitely a lot more spots I'd love to talk about. But today, I guess I, I guess I'll give it a little break and um, give you uh, a little something. Today, we're gonna talk about uh, tacos. Uh, we've we've definitely talked about tacos before um, and burritos as well. Uh, I feel like. Those are important food groups. I don't know about you, but uh, they are they're definitely an essential uh, thing. They are... Especially here. Yeah, I feel like they're like the lifeblood of L.A., you know? Um, they run through my veins, and um, they give me the strength and energy that I need to, to keep going. It's called cholesterol. Well, yes, that too. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't complaining. Um, and burritos. I mean, burritos are really L.A.'s go to to go you know for for things you need on the run and uh when you need something portable you know because we're always driving and you know we're getting from one place to another so we need something that's easy to grab and um and munch on so i think burritos are a good kind of good way to kind of do that but it depends because the thick burritos are kind of hard to do one-handed you know i think it just requires a certain type of skill set you know maybe yeah, if you're not, then you're probably weak. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you remember those El Gran burritos? They were massive. Yes. Oh man, yeah. Those uh, those are pretty good. Um, we miss them. We should. Uh, I really do. I know. All right. Well, um, but these types of uh, these foods that we're talking about today come from two pretty special spots as well in LA. Um, we're actually going to do kind of a two for one today. And it's not really to take away from, you know, the stories of each of them, because they both have incredible stories. And I, I feel like uh, you should check them out uh, more when you have time. Um, but I put them together because I feel like I wouldn't have tried one without the other, you know. 
Mm-hmm. And um, so I feel like just kind of the the see the story kind of goes along pretty well, hand in hand. Um, so we're going to talk about two places. Um, the first is the Chori Man, which makes uh, some excellent uh, chorizo, um, as well as Ellie's beloved Sonora Town. Um, Sonora Town is a really, really wonderful place for um, for tacos um, of with flour tortillas. You know, we've we've talked about our share of flour tortillas from a uh, previous episode, but um, Sonora Town is just one of those other places that you can get some really excellent um, flour tortillas along with the great meats that they serve, um, from carne asada to you know uh, shredded beef and chicken and you know everything in between there. Um, in, in a wonderful storefront in um, the fashion district in downtown. So, so we'll be talking about those, but uh, let's start off with, um, you know, with the Chori Man here. And like I said, the Chori Man is, um, he's, is headed by this gentleman, Mr. Umberto Regosa. He's, yeah, what you consider like an artisan chorizo maker. And he makes a really mean... Chorizo, we'll play for those who are, um, you know, listening. I'm sorry, you can't catch this here, but we're just playing a little video of, you know, of what he serves up here. He has this red, this green chorizos, which are very popular. Um, just everything like chorizo related, you know, um, he he's kind of learned to make. It's kind of, sk- you know, traditions and skills have been passed down to him and um, something he's really done good work on. I, I think he... From what I remember or understand, you might have been doing this kind of work as as early as like you know 2013, something like that, early 2010s, mm-hmm. let's say. Um, and you know, he's like just like um, you know a lot of these other places. You know, you kind of start small. You know, you're in the streets and you're pushing a small cart, and um, you're mm-hmm. just kind of selling to anyone who will who'll uh, he'll get your attention. You know, um, and. I think that was uh, quite, uh, you know, an excellent um, uh, way to go. And so he, you know, kind of continued to go from there and eventually opened a, a storefront, you know, in, um, I want to say 2017 or so. But I think most of his business um, comes from like wholesale, you know, uh, restaurants and uh, places that, um, you know, buy wholesale for chorizo. So the storefront is there to, you know, um, serve the people, the, the local community and, and people who will drive uh, to there. Uh, but uh, there's de- you'll definitely find his chorizo um, throughout uh, in different businesses and, and things alike. So, um, you know, what we're seeing here is uh, him bu- them building a, the Torman breakfast burrito, which is really a glorious um, type of... Bur- I think breakfast burritos, honestly, are... If anything, are probably LA's go-to. I mean, oh, you know, as far as burritos go, um, that's kind of the the thing, the the move to make. And so you've got, you know, your your line of chorizo, you know, your cheese on, you know, uh, filled with like fried egg and 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 potatoes, all wrapped in a nice, you know, flour tortilla. And the eggs are just like kind of a little runny. And so when you bite into it, it just kind of fills, you know, the little crevices in the burrito and makes a nice, you know, creamy, satisfying bite. And yeah, it's um, it's really something really good. And, you know, I'm not sure, you know, what your thoughts are on uh, like on chorizo, you know, generally. But, you know, some it may not be for everyone, they, they might say, maybe because it's whether it's like might be too spicy or uh, maybe sometimes the texture might be a little different for what they're used to, maybe. Um, but, you know, this guy, I tell you right now, he just does something that's uh, just really excellent, you know. Um, just a nice, you got nice kind of earthy flavors uh, from the chorizo, nice heavily spiced. Um, and yeah, it's a little spicy, but I think when you kind of have it, you know, as a package, like with the breakfast burritos or like some of the other kind of dishes they make. I don't know. It's just a night. It just makes uh, for more, uh, f- just more filling, just um, satisfying kind of uh, bite of chorizo. Makes you, I think it makes you appreciate it, um, you know, a little more what chorizo can or should be. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. So yeah, yeah. But that's um, that's uh, Mr. Uh, Umberto right there. But you know, we want to take a look again at just some of the these items here. You know, you take a look at the menu. Yeah, um, and these and there are diff- obviously chorizo has its own kind of rich history, probably trailing all the way back from you know Spain. But uh, we have chorizo. I mean, even us, my chow, uh, um, Filipinos got uh, got our own little takes on chorizo too. But um, we're talking about chorizo from you know areas of uh, uh, of Mexico, you know Zacatecas, you know that kind of thing. So we got a red chorizo. You can see here. Um, a, a green chorizo, and and you see here like just kind of uh, the types of spices or chilies that are kind of put in there to to give it that those signature flavors. Uh, they also serve. Uh, I see here this Argentinian chorizo, which is a white chorizo, um, so it's definitely a lighter color. Um, and then this sweet maple habanero. Yeah, I have I've had that a couple times, like in a like in a sandwich or um, or some other dish. And yeah, it's. Uh, it is sweet because of the maple in there, um, and but it got it has that kick right after um, because uh, mm-hmm. of the habanero. It's uh, it's pretty interesting and uh, quite like it a lot. But uh, um, but like I said, yeah, I think honestly they have they serve great burritos um, in general. But yeah, I think the go to for me would be like a breakfast burrito because um, I don't know, I just like the the egg and the potato in there. Um, mm-hmm. And then, you know, something like a witcherizo in there. It's just uh, something that's overall just a really, really good bite. So I think I enjoyed that a lot. So uh, that's, um, that's the chore, man. We, I do, uh, do want to thank my, my friend uh, Janice. If you, I don't think you've uh, met her yet, um, but she's probably one of the nicest people that you will ever meet. She's just so, just so nice uh, and just yeah, really she's... kind and... Uh, um she always likes to look for um you know the the good food spots too and uh been lucky to nice. you know um to join her and and uh have her along um for um for some some little food adventures of her own so janice if you're uh if you're listening or watching to this yeah let's uh let's hit it let's hit it up again sometime soon so that's pretty good um but yeah i mean Here's the thing. So Chori Man, they are out in San Pedro. Okay, so that's uh, kind of the very south part of LA. That's the end of you take the 110 all the way down, um, you know, down to Gaffey, and Gaffey goes, you know, kind of all the way down south, and eventually you find your way to uh, to the Chori Man. Uh, it's a small storefront. It's a real, um, yeah, very. Uh, I'd say very loved spot by by the community, you know, and um, right next to the Troy Man, by the way, um, as a small side note, is an excellent bakery called uh, Colossus, and um, they make some excellent like bread and pastries, just really flaky, like you know, croissants and you know, just all sorts of pastries. Um, okay. But uh, they're right next to each other, and so it you'd be uh, you'd be wise for you to, you know, uh, hit up both when you can, you know? So I think that's the move, honestly. But, um, yeah, we've had just excellent times um, to, excellent foods to, to try out. I mean, so here's the thing. Like I said, they're in San Pedro, right? So once you, once you order your food, right, mm-hmm. honestly, they're, there's like sometimes like a bench or like a table that you can sit at outside. There's no real seating inside. So you can sit outside, right? And it's nice. You know, San Pedro, yeah. it's by the coast, you know, by the water. So it's a nice, cool breeze, right? So why don't you take that to the next level? Drive further south a little bit, right? To the end, the very end where um, where you have Point Furman Park, okay? Where they have the lighthouse. And mm. there's a park there. And it's literally by the, you know, you got, you got your, you oversee the water. It's a beautiful view. Um, it's just south of where the Korean Friendship Bell is, which I know we've been yeah, to. Okay. I was about to ask. <laughs> <laughs> but this is kind of a view right there at that park. You know, you got benches throughout. And uh, of course you do it for the gram. You know, I take a nice little picture and uh, with the water, you know. Um, but it's... Um, it's- 
Is that what this picture is? Yes. <laughs> As you will you see. You can't tell what's in the background. It's water. It, is it? It's okay. blue. Is it? Is it? <laughs> blue water is blue. And a little green. But anyway, it's a, it's a nice view, okay? Okay. But an even nicer view of that burrito. Um, Good cross section. Yeah. You got the got in this case you got the green chorizo, you got the oh. you know the potatoes um stuffed in there too. Some there was a period of time, I don't remember if they still do it now, but there was a period of time when they swapped out the potatoes for uh like tater tots, and that was pretty good too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that sounds delicious. But you know, the potatoes they have uh they're they got a more just kind of full bite, I think, you know. Mm. Um but yeah, I I enjoyed this one. And of course you see the fried egg there kind of in the perimeter of the of the of the cross section. But yeah, that was um, that was tasty. I tell you that right now. But yes, I feel like for most of my visits, I will find my way down to that park and then just uh, <laughs> just enjoy my food there. You know. Okay. Yeah. But you know, in addition to you know the excellent burritos, sometimes they also serve up like other types of dishes that they share um, and talk about. And you know, this example here was like uh, some nachos that they had. They call and uh, call them like the chori nachos and. Um, mm -hmm. that's, uh, uh, that was a good example of, you know, kind of other dishes that, that they serve. Um, also they'll serve wings. I mean, they served wings at one point. I can't recall if they kind of do that regularly, but Hey, you got you want wings. Hey, they got wings. <laughs> and, uh, those were, those were pretty good too. So, um, yeah, that, that's really, uh, kind of the, the move to make, but, um, I wanted to find a, a few more kind of places or visits i think to um to the spot and like i said here's another burrito see that's a good picture by the water okay that's what not with your phone <laughs> that's correct <laughs> okay that makes more sense um again it's like just right there it's above you know it's like elevated so you can just you're just above you know where the water is you can oversee you can oversee the road that runs along the coast uh which i forget what that is PV something, I imagine. That's near where it is. But um, but yeah, this is uh this is the red chorizo breakfast burrito. Mm -hmm. That's again, that's the move to make. Important. Yes, yeah. very important. Um, but yes, you know, in cases like these, again, um, as you've uh so observed and endured, I guess, you know, camera eats first and ah, yes, you know yes. <laughs> and you're by the shore, so it's colder, so that gets colder faster. <laughs> Yes, but it's um, just as every bit, uh, you know, delicious, to be honest. So probably frozen by the time. You yeah, leave. well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was another visit. I don't remember. Uh, this must have been like in the early morning. This visit here. This is a this is a, a burrito, a chili relleno burrito. So it's not a breakfast burrito, mm. but you can see that you have the green chorizo in this case, the beans, and then the, there's chili relleno in there. Um and you know very cheesy as well but uh this was in the morning i don't remember why i was out there so early um but um i also remember that was i think that was also the same day i probably got pastries too and um had them like kind of side to side but yeah okay. so but another excellent you know example of a burrito from from the chori man himself and um again by the water you know um but on that same morning, I guess I had ordered. Um, I believe Ooh, this was Basole. Oh yeah. man, you, you, yeah, exactly. So um, the Chori Man makes a mean Pasole. Um, mm. He also makes a really good menudo. Um, I've had that oh, a couple yeah? times. I don't think I remember. I don't find any pics here. But yes, he's made an excellent uh, Pasole as well. Uh, menudo. Um, but yeah, either of these are just really excellent, um, to try as well. I think at the, at those times he, he, had, I think they used to be like kind of seasonal or like available at certain points. Um, but yeah, especially on a cold, cold, uh, morning, um, it's a very, you know, warming and, um, comforting kind of, uh, thing to, to have, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So another, a solid place, you know, to try, uh, I believe this here was the maple. This was this must have been the maple habanero, oh, I believe. So um, I lost my feed here. Where did they uh -oh. go? We're back. Okay, so 
but yeah um i believe this was also a breakfast burrito yeah i mean you know i just can't go wrong uh just burrito chorizo potato um fried egg <laughs> yeah so this isn't what this wasn't quite by the water but it was close enough you know is it i always <laughs> hear cars <laughs> Oh look, we got a little, we got a little friend there. Um, Ugh, rabid, probably. <laughs> I had, I had quite a, I, th- I had a quite a spread a few items in, in this visit. I was back, back there at the the park, and you mm-hmm. know, I just kind of had it laid out in a little box on the table, and yeah, this this little guy would. Um, they steal your food? No, not quite, but okay, he was definitely eyeing it, and I think there were two of them. <laughs> so, oh boy! But this was just another. Um, green chorizo breakfast burrito uh, by the water, okay? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> As you can tell, it is very very reminiscent, a resemblance of water, so um, yeah, so it's a good burrito, okay? I'll tell you that right now. It's too okay. bad. It's so too bad. Far uh, away. Well, for you, but um, oh, yeah, fair. But honestly, it's a straight shot down, you know, the 110. If you can, if you can swing it, I mean, it's, I mean, I'd have to go through downtown. Mm, yeah, I might knock it down. A couple, <laughs> but it's okay, um, fast track, fast track. That's right. You get a fast track, and you zip right down. So, um, yeah, that's excellent. That's um, so that's the Chory Man. Um, and yeah, again, I I talked about Janice, and I remember she um, I, I had helped her uncle out um with with something uh. And as a reward, she uh, made a short event. So, <laughs> nice. That was uh, that was the highlight of uh, of a lot of what I look forward to. So, uh, thank you, Janice. <laughs> and and uh, so um, that was the Chory Man. So, what? Where where does this lead me? So, Chory Man, like I said, they do a lot of wholesale, right? And um, mm-hmm. they serve a lot of businesses uh, with their excellent chorizo. And one such of those places is, in fact, um, Sonora Town. Uh. Um, yeah. So that's probably, I would say that's probably the way I, you know, kind of figured or found out, like, oh, I should try these guys out, too. Because, um, I mean, I think I've already, you know, we've already started hearing about them. They've already kind of made... Uh, waves, you know, in in the uh, you know the food news and and community and and all that. Um, but I thought it was time. Yeah, I should uh, I should try these out. And again, they and they do feature, you know, the um, the Troy Man's chorizo. So we take a look here um, at the uh, at the menu. Okay, so Sonora Town, relatively simple, nothing crazy. Right, you've got these. Uh, you've got the different meats. You got the grilled steak. You got the chicken. You even have tripe, and uh, and nice. chorizo. Um, and it's a special kind of Sonoran style uh, chorizo, which uh, the Chori man himself kind of makes. You know, especially for them, um, wow. which I think is really cool. Um, but yeah, with that, you you get them on on you know laid uh, on top of a. They are laid on top of a, a, a flour tortilla. And so mm-hmm. you can get like the small tacos, right? Small little, you know, I mean, they, they're, they're pretty hearty, but they're tacos. But I think what really attracted me um, to them was their caramello. And the caramello is like the hybrid almost like of a taco meets quesadilla. You know, it's a, it's a much larger flour tortilla, right? And you lay it down with the meat, the cheese, you know, all the fixings, and you still fold it over, you know, kind of like a, um, ta- like a, uh, like a taco, right? But it's just further cooked on the grill, almost like a quesadilla. I mean, so that's a caramello, you know, um, and it's what's really nice is you know they serve it with like. Um, you know, with beans and also like they top it off with like a um, a nice uh, green onion on there. Uh, it, it's it's really interesting, um, but uh, very delicious. And then you've got, you know, your chivichangas, or they call chivis. Uh, 
And chivis are like small burritos. Still in a flour tortilla, but it's uh, usually going to be a shredded meat. So it's going to be beef or chicken um, with the cheese and um, a, a chili in there, tomato. So it's just wrapped up. It's a small package, but um, very bite-sized, but very satisfying. But then you can move up and go all the way to the burrito, the burrito <laughs> 2.0. And I think that's that probably be the move. You know, you get a burrito. They, uh, it's like the best of everything. You know, in one package, including um, guacamole, which they make especially for, um, you know, for the burrito. But yeah, just take a little look here. You know, you see what they what they have here. That that shot was just the the caramello. Um, but this is a real um, real treat. You know, there's there's the flour. It's handmade, right? And yeah. um, it's just placed on the grill. Look at that. That's just incredible. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that. Right? Like charred and blistered. And, yeah. Um, it's, it's still really soft. And, yeah, it's just almost delicate, you know, to, to bite into. But it, it holds up, and uh, it's, a real, it's a real nice uh, bite. Um, so, yeah, again, I mean, we've... I don't know what it is. Again, like we've said about a flour tortilla, but there's just something that's like really nice about it. And I think that yeah. I don't think there needs to be a you know a debate per se. You know, corn versus flour. I think they're both excellent, but um, I think sometimes there might we might lean a little towards the flour. Um, might be a little more personally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's really cool. So you see how they just puff up there on on the grill. It's mm, just something else, man. And I think from that shot, I think they're saying like they cook it in, like it's kind of fried in like lard or something. Um, oh, nice. So it's a little something, a little extra, you know? So it's quite excellent. Yeah. So Sonortown is really like, really awesome. It's a real um, special spot for, for LA. Um, I think the people behind it, uh, Jennifer and, and Tio, uh, they really put a lot of, um, you know, love and I don't know, I guess they put a lot of effort into making a really good product. And I believe, you know, I remember reading like from their, you know, whenever they post on social media, it's like they're saying we're, you know, we're driving down to, you know, to this area, this special area, like Sonora region where they only they sell this special type of flour, you know, that they that you make these flour tortillas with. And so they would pride themselves, right, to go out there, pick up the flour. And that's like, that's like a f several hours, I want to say. Yeah. It's like each way, you know. So to go out there to get this type of flour that would work best for this, you know, kind of, um, kind of dish. I mean, it, that, that's real commitment, you know. And uh, just to make something that's real special. So I, you know, I commend them for it. And I think it's, uh, it's truly a wonderful um Oh man, it's just so good for LA. <laughs> but yeah, they so they're they're like in you know downtown LA in the fashion district, um, and it was just like a small storefront. You know, there were some seats available, like a little counter along there, some bar stools, but uh, there was a space next door. Um, I don't remember what it was or if it was still even still around at the, when they first opened. But you know, they eventually took over that neck that other space, which I think was great. Um, so they, they expanded this, the footprint, you know, so, um, yeah, this was, uh, it, it was definitely a, a little different. So I think like what I, what I'm seeing here for those watching, or I'm sorry, for those listening, like you've got this, you know, I think this was the second, the other half, you know, so on the left side uh -huh. where this wall is, is, you know, what is, you know, the other side is where they, they currently, where they were, you know their storefront and so they would walk they'd have to knock this wall down in order to expand into the next space so yeah it's uh it was definitely a big big effort but it was uh definitely well worth it you know um yeah i mean also you if you have a chance you can check out um uh the netflix series taco chronicles because uh they're they're featured there although a little briefly 
I wish they had I yeah. wish they had a little more screen time, but um I think their episode was about carne asada and so they uh highlighted them in part of that episode. Um because they make it really good. They do make a really good carne asada to be, you know, for what it's worth. Um and uh but but that was uh, that was pretty cool to you know to have them on there. Um where are I, I keep talking about that. I want I wanted more um one more pictures. Where my uh, where did my pictures go? Um, but yeah, I think I remember. You know, not soon after I had visited the Troy Man. Yeah, I, I you know I'd been hearing about Sonora Town, and I thought, yeah, I need to definitely need to visit them. So uh, that's more Troy Man. So uh, we need to switch that up here. But this was probably one of my first meals over there. You know, this was the original storefront. Uh, can't really tell but i mean like you know when the space was smaller but there's like yeah i remember it's like a small like when you enter like on the left side there's like this small counter space you know maybe like four or five stools or something and so i find myself a little stool um put my big butt on there and then um and just find a little space so these are two caramellos and um i think one was carne asada and the other one is uh was chorizo Okay, and um, you can okay. see the you know again the like the green onion thing that that's fr- that's grilled on there with some lime. Mm-hmm. You hit it with a little bit of lime, man. It's like it's like a perfect bite. A little bit of salsa with there, and then the agua fresca with the horchata. You know that was uh, definitely the move. <laughs> of course, yeah. And you know I don't remember. It's been a little while since I visited, but like definitely during those times, um, uh, the when the owners Jennifer like she would be there. Um, either at the front or at the register itself, and yeah, she's always so uh, so friendly, just such a warm greeting, kind of a bright you know um, disposition, and yeah, just I you know certainly always very happy to you know have someone you know have people visit and try the food and you know just have a a good time, and so I I really appreciated that, and um, it is uh, it was a really good you know you know bite there, so. Um, but yeah, this I but also we had I had the I believe this was the cheapy. So um because why not why not both, right? So <laughs> but um yeah, so I had that as well. This one was also a uh I think it's a picture of the burrito because this has the what's that the guacamole in there. Yeah. So this was an example of the burrito and um that was uh that's a big it's a pretty hefty bite um but uh you know me i mean i just it's like <laughs> one of, again one of each i mean what are you gonna do yeah. yeah 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 um this was another pick you can see the you know some of the storefront there in the in the background um you can kind of see like on the left side that's where you would order there's the counter but then you know you would also see past there some of the you know some of uh uh, the grills and where they would, you know, make you grill some of the meats um, on there. Uh, so it's nice to see and and observe. And then the side where I'm on, uh, which is to the right of the entrance, is uh, the counter space. And um, and this was uh, chorizo. I can tell. You know, it's uh, chorizo man chorizo. So yeah, I think almost every visit, I think I'd make it a point to get chorizo. Uh, it'd be like carne asada, you know, chorizo, uh, for sure. You know, the third, you know, I've had, I've had the chicken, I've had the tripe, you know, I just try a little bit of everything, but definitely the chorizo and the asada is like kind of the go-to, to be honest. Um, and, uh, so that, those were, those were awesome bites. This was another pick of the, um, of the burrito. Yeah. I, um, just can't say there's a lot of good, there's a lot of good things to say. So. Um, they had also like competed in stuff like they, um, they were like champions. I think Jamie talked about this, like they had competed and, you know, for like the best tortilla or whatever. Um, and I think for at least one of those, they, they had won. So I thought that was, I thought that was really cool. Um, but yeah, as far as more like visits there, this was, um, this was like another one. I think this is when they expanded already. You can't really tell, but um, because uh, this is just really of the food. But 
Uh, this was done outside. So in the storefront, I don't remember if it always existed, but they have there's like a small extension um, of the storefront. Like it's more counter space. So probably have like, I don't know, six or so people that can kind of sit around um, and they can enjoy their food outside, which was pretty cool. So uh, these were tacos and small bites, right? Um, this one definitely you see the chorizo here on the left and the carne asada in the middle there but um this was all dressed up with the salsa and uh and everything the and the uh cabbage as well on there yeah it was um yeah um and i think that was watermelon uh, agua fresca in the background very bright mm. bright red color there so um yeah nothing nothing wrong with that so uh this was just more of more tacos, and I think this was a chivi. So um, I don't know what you're thinking. Uh, what What do you think your order would be if uh, if you had you know when you had the, if you had the chance to go there? Well, obviously one of each. I mean, there's no can't get around that. Mm -hmm. You're right. Um, but yeah, I honestly am a fan of tripe. I would try that. For oh yeah. Sure. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think tripe. Yeah. Yeah. So. That that was uh, pretty cool, and I remember you know like early on you know they only had certain hours they weren't open too late, um, mm. you know they weren't open every day, but eventually um, you know it was like almost miraculous, almost like a godsend when they announced um, you know they had more hours, and, you know more days and things like that, but uh, that was pretty cool, and then a couple more things here I remember you know we now kind of flash forward to the time of like during the pandemic or whatever. So, you uh -huh. know, a lot of th people were doing takeout and trying to like figure out how they could serve food and everything. This is a, uh, this is a chivy platter. So, <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> so I ordered a whole platter for myself. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, again, there's no hanging out, no partying, no nothing like that. Right. So, um, this was, uh, this is the way sure. to go. Yeah. I mean, this was, Again, you got to support your, you know, your small and local businesses, right? Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, this was a uh, chivis, little chivis in a in a, in a small platter. Um, yeah, that was just um, another good way. And then here we have more tacos featuring uh, your blanket, uh, the ever venerable blanket. So <laughs> your hated blanket. Yes. Well, depends on who you talk to. But uh, <laughs> again, chorizo. Asada, that's the way to go for me. Um, but yeah, that um, uh, Sonora Town, that is kind of um, one of LA's, I think. I mean, we, we are a taco town, like I said. We've got, you know, every street corner you go to, you know, you're, you're probably going to find a taquero. You're going to find someone that serves tacos that will be satisfying and filling. Um, but, and Sonora Town is no exception. And Sonora Town also is one of those places that just kind of goes little beyond you know um and just delivers a really good example of um of a great uh bite of a taco and uh on a flour tortilla so which is so cool um thankfully now you know as popular as that uh, location is in downtown they um also have a new location in mid-city so uh, if ever you find yourself over there um you can get your sonora town fix in in mid city so um that's uh just more more sonora town uh to go around you know so yeah that um that's a lot of what uh what i've had to say i mean that was a, an excellent um those are two excellent spots i think uh my child i think um if you haven't had a chance um, but you should definitely, you should pay a visit, I think. So, um, yeah, uh, it's been a while since I've had Sonora Town, so maybe it's not too far. Yeah, it's not too far. Maybe we'll find our way down to, um, San Pedro or something. Um, uh, and, um, we'll, we'll try something out there too, by the water, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Try not to get the food uh, too cold by then, you know. Um, That's on you. I know, I know. But you know, tacos and you know burritos. I, I 
don't think it gets any better. Again, that's um, I feel like that's a lot of like LA's identity um, among all the other great, excellent foods we have, um, uh, big and small. Um, you know, uh, comforting and and everything like that. But uh, hopefully, you know, you you find yourself around to try it one time, and uh, hopefully, let us know. Um, you know how it goes. But um, but aside from that, I think we've come to the end of uh, another episode. So we made it. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thank you for. <laughs> For enduring <laughs> once again <laughs> we are uh excited to continue bringing more of our food adventures and you're here on uh instagram and uh dumb and hungry and uh you can jump in the chat when you find us uh streaming here on youtube um if not otherwise you can find the audio wherever fine podcasts are served but until next time i'm angelo i'm my show and on your next food adventure remember to try one of each gone yeah we're clear